Darren, first of all, two goals, three points. Do you feel we deserve that following the Sutton game? Yeah, I mean, we deserved it. There's no doubt about it. I felt that they scored slightly against a run of play. I was happy enough with how we'd started the game. Um, and then to score from a set piece, and we've spent a lot of time working on set pieces, so that was extremely pleasing. Um, a well-worked corner that obviously we've uh, we've scored from, got us back in the game, which I think, you know, on reflection, may be fair going in at half-time. Um, and we come out second half and, and, and I asked the front three and JT in particular for more quality, more urgency, more running in behind, more of everything that I know that they're capable of. Um, and then the back six behind them were nice and solid, you know, Dunny and Harry in there were, were, were two good protectors in front of our back four, I thought Cal and Ricardo were, were superb and as was both of our full backs but it was the, it was the step up in quality that our front four offered that created more opportunities and then thankfully Simeon's got on the end of a clever through ball from JT and he's he's finished brilliantly so you know it's it's pleasing and, and certainly what I felt we deserved. How impressed were you with the reactions going one nil down because we didn't get away with ourselves and we got ourselves back in the game? I don't know that there was a reaction as such it was it was more we just continued to do what we was doing um I felt like we would get back in the game because we was, I wouldn't say dominant, but we was the, I felt we was the better side. You know, again, they've, they've scored a stunning goal um, that we could have done better against. You know, we, we talk about, you know, he's right-footed, so the obvious is to show the boy on the outside, um, but we showed him inside. And is it a goal that... You know, he might not score that again in his career. He might get another one or two over the next 500 games. But it was a stunning goal that gave them the lead. And we just had continued to do what we was doing. And we handled the ball well and got to the final third well. But it was the second half where, in the final third, we looked more dangerous. And, and that's obviously led to us winning the game. I was going to ask you if you're a star man, but to be honest, there were so many performances to shout about out there. Ricardo Santos, Callum Reynolds at the back, Harry Taylor and James Dunn in the middle. It, it's sort of becoming a common theme where we're putting in these really good team performances this year. Well, it is team, isn't it? It is team, you know. It's got to be team. Um, it's team us, team everyone, team Barnet. You know, there's we got if we continue being a team and we sprinkle it with the magic of Efron and Medi and uh, JT and Simeon, and obviously Shaq when he's back fit and you know we've got loads of individual players that can contribute little bits of magic but it's got to be within the team structure and that's what's pleasing at the minute that the team is looking good and I'm hoping we only just get better because we've got we had a strong bench today and we've got some good players sitting in the stand as well and we've got one or two that are edging closer to getting back into training so as a group, we're looking strong. It's uh, seven points out of a potential nine now. Just a week in, you must be happy with that start. Yeah, I mean, listen, if, if someone had offered me seven at the, in pre-season on the back of playing two teams that have been relegated and, and Sutton that are obviously on a difficult pitch, then, yeah, of course I'd have taken seven. There's always going to be a little bit of me that's a bit greedy and I think we should be sitting on nine because should have beat Sutton on... Tuesday night but like I say if someone offers me seven I'll be happy enough to take that and it gives us a nice platform to build from uh, going into the remainder of the month still some difficult games but certainly gives us confidence going into them games and just finally a quick message to the fans who they've made a long journey up today and they've got behind the boys well I said yesterday I thought some of them would spend it in the pub but looks like some of them chose to come along instead which is brilliant you know you know, they, they, they've got a part to play. They, they have a part to play. And when I talk about team, they're part of the team. Um, so they can have star man today because I thought they were brilliant as well.